Hello and welcome to another edition of the Workforce Connection. The Workforce Connection is a co-production of Forver Community Media, Bristol Community College, and the Forver Area Chamber of Commerce and Industry. I'm Rob Mellion. I am the uh, Chamber of Commerce CEO, and I'm your host for this show. And every month what we try to do is to bring to you, the audience, a little taste of what's happening here in the Forver area concerning the workforce and businesses and issues that involve employment. This month we're going to do something just a little bit differently. We are going to focus in on what the Chamber does and why it does it. And in particular we're going to uh, focus on how the Chamber provides programming for area businesses, which ultimately helps keep people employed. So there is a connection here. Now to help me do this, we've brought in Liz Swider. Liz is the manager of business development at the Chamber of Commerce, and I'm very grateful that she was able to come in today. Thanks for having me, Rob. Yes, welcome, welcome. Thank you. So what I wanted to do in the beginning of the program here is to actually address some of the frequently asked questions or directed comments to us, the staff at the Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. and get it out there so people know a little bit more about who we are, sure. and talk about our programming that we do and how we help businesses stay in business. Mm -hmm. So I got some questions for you. Sure. I always have questions. Yeah, every day. <laughs> yes. So first question I got for you is, what is the Chamber of Commerce? What do we do? We are a not-for-profit business organization uh, we've created by businesses to represent their interests. Uh, the Chamber serves businesses by promoting and protecting new and existing big businesses and advocate on their behalf. And again, you said we were, were a organization created by businesses. By businesses. Not government. Not government. What is the Chamber's connection with government? Well, contrary to popular belief and a lot of the phone calls that we get every day at the Chamber, uh, we are a private member-funded organization. We are not affiliated with any government, um, any state, any, I mean, any state or city or town. We're a very separate entity. So, I mean, this might be earth-shattering news to some people <laughs> who are watching be. the program. So when somebody calls up and they're calling about their car that just got a parking ticket and they're calling the Chamber of Commerce, what's that going to do for them? Nothing. We are, not, we are not even located at City Hall. I get a lot of phone calls thinking that we're at Government Center and we're not, um, we're very completely separate. So we're not part of the city of Fall River? Nope. We're not part of the state of Massachusetts? Nope. We're not part of the federal government? No. How are we funded? We are funded um, primarily in three ways, through membership, through sponsorships, and through events. We do a lot of events during the course of the year and that helps. So Fall River tax dollars don't go towards funding the Chamber of no. Commerce? No, they do not. Uh, federal dollars don't come in to the Chamber of Commerce? Not a penny. No you know, magic $500,000 <laughs> grants coming in? No. 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 So privately funded through businesses? Through businesses. The no. memberships are primary um, source of income. And another fun question for you. And I th it's important for us to go through this yeah, because we people don't constantly, know. I don't think there's a day that goes by when we do not hear from somebody who has a misconception about exactly. the chamber. Mm -hmm. Taxes. Does the chamber pay taxes? The chamber does pay taxes. We are a not-for-profit, but we are a 501c6, so that means... A business organization. Business organization. We pay property taxes to the city of Fall River. We, we pay, pay property taxes. We do. We pay uh, the stormwater fees just like everybody else. We pay that to the city. Um, we yes, also for two parking lots and the roof. Correct. It actually gets quite high. And we do also pay some federal and state income tax on some of our reven revenue. Yeah, because some of it uh, is not derived just from straight programming, like uh, uh, we rent parking spaces, for mm -hmm. example, uh, for the city. And we also win our lower lot and we uh, lease out some space that we don't use ourselves in our building, mm -hmm. we pay taxes on that. We do. Yes. Very interesting. Yeah, a lot of people don't know that. So how does the Chamber provide cost savings programming for the membership? Or what kind of cost savings programs do we do for the membership? Why do we do it? We have a lot. I mean, our whole objective is to help businesses make and save money. 
Um, they can save money. One of the biggest ways is our member to member discount. We allow our members to offer discounts to Love other that members. One. And that's my favorite. It's one of my favorite tools. Yes. Um, you know, it's for a variety, for business purposes and also for personal use if you want to go to a restaurant. Um, all employees of members are eligible to use these discounts. Um, how does it work? So the member to member discount program, what, I mean, what is this and how does it work? It's, all it is is a member will call me or fill out, they can fill out a form, send me an email, give me a call. They want to offer a discount, whether it's 10% off or 15% off or anything. I or saw one of these today. I saw uh, just, just before we came here, yeah. somebody had filled out a form to get themselves included for a member to member they discount. They did. We, we get new ones weekly. It's printed in our newspaper every month. It's on our website. Um, it's going to be on. Yeah, you can say it. We have a new app that's going to be coming out it's in a couple of weeks. Yes. Um, and the member to member discount is going to be right on the apps, right at everybody's fingertips on your phone. And you still need your discount card to show that you are a member, but it's a really great way to see um, what discounts are available to you. And I think it's important to say, too, that as far as membership goes, you know, when you have about 800 member businesses, mm -hmm. The employees, the number, the employees mm -hmm. and their families, you know, they're they're members mm -hmm. of our organization. As far as it goes with the business business discount program, we're talking about twenty thousand people. It's a lot of people. It's a lot of foot traffic. It's a really great yes. way to get people in the door and uh, into your business. Absolutely. So, what other programs are there? Yeah, talk about the uh, health co-op, for example. We do. We have a really great program. Um, the chamber. About four years ago, had gotten together with. We had realized that healthcare was very high, and it was one of the highest cost healthcare states in the country. In the country. But we had actually gotten a grip on it. I'm sorry, I jumped in. You did. I, this is such a hot <laughs> topic for me uh, as an advocate, mm -hmm. because the state of Massachusetts had gotten its hand on the cost of healthcare to some degree, had stabilized the cost, and then the national healthcare law took effect mm -hmm. and it threw the Massachusetts system out the door and the cost of healthcare every single year since the introduction of the national healthcare law has substantially increased. Mm -hmm. Th this year up. it's in the double digits. It is. And well because of that w the chamber got together with other Massachusetts chambers and formed a chamber health insurance co-op. Which the federal health care program tried to stop us from doing. <laughs> I'm and not actually kidding. We've you been can't approved, make it up. I know, and we've been approved to do it for a few more years, but it's a great affordable option for small businesses if you have one to 50 employees to take part in. Um, it's a really great option. We have a lot of people who call us, prim you know, they join the chamber for other reasons too, but a primary reason is the health insurance savings. Yeah, we have a gateway on our website that people can utilize to go right to the signing up mm -hmm. uh, process for mm -hmm. that health care program, mm -hmm. uh, for health insurance programs. What other programs do we have that help save money? Um, we have our affinity programs. We work with local um, legal services for businesses. The South Coast Electric Power Group is oh, a really cool Oh, you're talking about one. the triage program, the, the uh, legal triage yes, program with Foley with and Foley. Foley, and Foley. Mm -hmm. I love that one. Yeah, that's really That's cool. been great. It actually was so successful that Foley and Foley created three tiers mm -hmm. uh, for that program. And it's, it's one where uh, you can do like a base, like $100, where you get some simple questions answered through the course of the month, or it can be more complex. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's a great program for it's those who want a lawyer on call. Yeah, it's very, very See, we useful. solve problems. That's what, like, yeah, the chamber solves problems for its members. We do. It's really good. What about the, the uh, electricity uh, steering group that we are part of? It's the South Coast Electric Power Group. Um, we work with other chambers in, on the South Coast to offer savings, and that's very helpful to some of the larger businesses, you know, like Phillips mm -hmm. Lightelier, some of the industrial park businesses. You have to use a certain amount of wattage per month, correct? Yeah, about 40,000 kilowatts yeah. per month, so it's not for the typical uh, entity out there. It's more for someone like the Stop and Shop distri uh, Distribution Center, mm -hmm. as you said, Phillips Lightelier. You, did you know that the city of Fall River and the city of New Bedford buy their electricity through our power group. I did know that, but I can guarantee you most people don't. Yes, yeah. and we have helped save them millions of dollars mm -hmm. through the life of this mm -hmm. co-op that yeah. we have organized here uh, in the southeastern region. Mm -hmm. And it's actually, it's 
our little aggregate mm -hmm. is state and nationally recognized for what we've been able to accomplish in saving money. It is. So nice little thing that we've been doing. It's been going on since 2002. Yeah. So I got a couple more. I got lots of questions. <laughs> this Every is this day. is great. <laughs> so how does the chamber? I mean, you, you hear me always talking about when I'm on the Voice of Business or. Uh, Many of you are talking about this at Business After Hours, which we'll talk about a little bit later, mm -hmm. too. But how does the Chamber promote shopping locally year-round, not just at Christmas time? Mm -hmm. um, the biggest way is referrals. We get phone calls every day, multiple times a day. I get them on my cell phone, on the office phone. People email me constantly looking for referrals for any number of businesses. So, But we only refer member businesses, which That's is right. key. I have to tell you, it's probably, I mean, I alone probably perform about, I'd say, eight to 12 referrals a day. Mm -hmm. And then you're doing it. Mm -hmm. uh, Kimberly, our vice president, she's putting out referrals as well. Yep. And I'm sure that uh, Courtney and Crystal are doing the same thing. I mean, we're Absolutely. probably doing about 50 referrals a day at the Chamber mm -hmm. of Commerce. Oh, very easily. We get, you know, local people calling, just asking. And I get a lot of phone calls from out of state people looking, yes. wanting to do business with businesses in the area and just. I had a huge multinational corporation call yesterday <laughs> looking for a referral. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be uh, a big uh, impact to the area as a result of that mm -hmm. one. But that's, that's what happens. Yeah. That's very interesting. What, what else do we do? You talked about the member to member discount program. Mm -hmm. That's part of our shopping local. That is campaign. part of our shopping local. It's a, a great way to promote local business, right? In our paper, on our news, on our website every single day. Yes. So I'm thinking too, I mean, we have a number of events mm -hmm. and I'd like to talk about, we recently uh, produced the Bristol County Home and Garden Show. It did. It was and very successful. How is that a kind of shopping local festival? Well, it, you know, we had it at Diamond Regional Vocational Technical High School, and we had I, 50 or 60 vendors mm -hmm. came in, all local businesses. You know, people came in from 10 to 4 on a Saturday These weren't like little non-profit vendors. These no, were contractors, these right? These were local businesses. Um, Many Diamond grads, too. A lot of Diamond grads were there, actually. And Bristol Community College grads. Mm -hmm. And it was a great way in, you know, a short amount of time for people in the community to come in and get some ideas and you know we gave a lot of lead we got a lot of really great feedback from our vendors on that they get some great leads from that show and that's not the only uh, expo type event that the chamber produces annually no we have our business to business expo in October that we do in conjunction with the New Bedford Chamber and that's held at Whites of Westport and that's a fantastic um, expo businesses from all over that's like a networking oh fast. it is it is it's fabulous um, but we have it's a great way to get in front of a lot of thousands of people in a day you know yes and I mean the whole point of those two events is what to promote small and local business that's right that's the whole that's what I'm getting at, is mm -hmm. that we're constantly producing and providing opportunity for getting people to connect with one another to help them with their businesses mm -hmm. so that's the first part of the show. We're going to take a break in a couple of minutes here for a public service announcement. And then when we come back, I want to get in depth about some of our programming mm -hmm. and how it is designed to help businesses to make money, save money, and sometimes solve problems. Mm -hmm. So please stay tuned and we'll be right back after this public service announcement. The STEM Starter Academy and Pathways to Success program are two programs on campus and we have been sponsoring a series of panel discussions this semester. The goal of these panel discussions is to provide an opportunity for our students to speak with people in the field. Do undergraduate research, do an internship, figure out what you like, and if you end up loving it, then move forward in that career. You don't have to just go with something because, oh, everyone tells you to do it. Women think differently from men, men think differently from women, so I feel like it's important to have a women's aspect on science. When I started, there was not many women in my classes, and as I started to go on, more women are involved in it. I were, I, when I showed up to my job, I was shocked at how many women engineers there were. I do see a lot more women where I am now than where I did in the past. I think BCC is a great place to start. 
The teachers are so much more readily available. And they sit down and they'll just sit there and hash out problems with you. Stick with what you love. If you love biology and you want to keep going, don't let anyone tell you that you can't get your PhD and you can't be the head of a lab because you can. And just go out there and do it. Some people, things will come to them easily, others it won't, but if you love it, if it's something you're interested in, then persevere through it. You can do anything with a STEM degree, and I think that's what we try to encourage or help our young women understand, and all of our young people to understand. Hey, welcome back to the Workforce Connection. I'm Rob Mellion, I'm CEO of the Chamber of Commerce, and with me is Liz Swider, and she is the manager of business uh, relations and really business development at the Chamber of Commerce. And we're kind of doing a Chamber 101 here, mm -hmm. particularly about our services and what we do and why we do it. And we were actually just talking uh, during the public service announcement about Liz's role uh, as uh, the development person. And can you talk about that a little bit, Liz? Sure. I work every single day with businesses, um, small and large, but primarily small businesses. Um, because they're looking for guidance. They need answers, they need suggestions. You know, we work closely with the MSBDC, which is the Mass Small Business Development Center, which is right upstairs in yeah, our building. Yeah, the second floor of the chamber building. And they building. offer a lot of really great services that people don't know about, so I, you know, yep. connect them together. Scores in our building as well. Mm -hmm. uh, trying to think, the uh, Mass uh, Trade Center also provides services through our building, mm -hmm. too. I mean, we're kind of a little hub for we business. We are, and we're connected. We know a lot of people. Um, just last night we had a business after hours and I had two very new startup businesses who were thrilled with all the information, the names we were able to give them, the connections we were able to get them. You know, because sometimes you do need that foot in the door to help promote your business and help grow your introductions. business. Introductions. And a lot of introductions. Chamber does introductions. We do a lot every, every day. So not just referrals, but yeah. we introduce. Mm -hmm. So we're, we know a lot of people and it's a good way to, and our members are very loyal, so they're good. You know, if I, I can make a phone call to somebody and say, hey, I have a new member, they just would like to talk to you, they'd like to get some information, do you mind? And 99.9% .9 of the time, it works. Can you talk about how we're a regional chamber of commerce? We are, we don't just cover Fall River. You know, we are out in Seekonk, Swansea, Somerset, Westport, Dartmouth, New Bedford, even into Rhode Island, Tiverton, Warren, Portsmouth, Bristol, we've got quite a few in Bristol. Um, yeah. So and we're really growing. And it's good that we are in Tiverton because Tiverton is going to become a hotbed yes. uh, in the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. And even Providence. We've been having a lot of businesses in Providence reach out to us because they know we're growing. We've got um, the industrial park with the casino in Tiverton possibly coming in and all the growth, the South Coast marketplace that's going to be coming in. We have a lot of Providence mm -hmm. businesses that are looking to do business And, and that's the point is that when a business wants to connect with the area business community, our area business community, they call us. They do. So, let's talk about the programming again at the Chamber of Commerce. Uh, let's remind people, how does a business actually get some of those referrals? They have to join the Chamber. You have to be a Chamber member. We only uh, refer joining members. Joining the Chamber? <laughs> how do you do that? You call me. Um, you can go, no, actually, you, you can call me. Um, you can stop by the chamber. You can send me an email. There's a lot. We Pretty soon, we're in the process of getting it where you can actually join online. So that's in the works right now. We should have that up and running very soon. And the last segment, you talked about the app that we're going to be rolling mm -hmm. out. Uh, in actually the month of April, the app will go live. Mm -hmm. And what's going to be on that app? We are very excited about this app. Uh, Gold Medal Bakery is sponsoring it. And... It's got our member uh, directory on it, so you can look by category for a printer, a staffing agency, a hospital, anything. Um, it'll have the member-to-member -member discount program on it. It's gonna have all of our events on it. We'll be able to do push notifications, um, directions, contact information. So it's a really great, um, it's gonna be a really and great so tool. And how would that, how would that work? So you'd have the member to member discount program on your phone on essentially your phone. because of this app. So while you're out shopping or looking for a business or even just, you know, it's a Saturday night, you're out with your friends, you're mm -hmm. going to, you know, Jerry Remy's or BK's, you know, you've got the discount right there at your fingertips. And what's really cool with the app, if you click on menu, it'll bring you right to the restaurant's menu or if it's not a restaurant to the business's website. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so and you can download the Chamber's newspaper. We have a newspaper. We do have a we newspaper. We want to talk about that in yeah. a couple of seconds here, but you can download the Chamber's newspaper mm -hmm. and read it digitally from mm -hmm. the app. From the app. 
Uh, you can listen to uh, Voice of Business radio program. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one of our productions that we do at the Chamber of Commerce. You can buy Fall River Wear. You can. What is Fall River Wear? Fall River Wear is really fun. It's, we have t-shirts, hats, mugs, um, those coffee tumblers. We've got Fall Riveropoly, which is always yes. a fun gift. We actually, a few years ago, that was uh, Kimberly Mona's, uh, our vice president of the Chamber of Commerce. She uh, created a Monopoly game of Fall River. Uh, I think it was about five years ago, mm. and it's it's fun. I mean, I, we, my kids and I, we play it at the house. We sell it at a lot of our events. It's yeah. really popular. It's a fun gift. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, okay, we talked about the business news. What's mm -hmm. the business news? That's our monthly newspaper that um, circulates out to about, there's about 4,000 copies that go out. However, uh, I personally drop them off to local town halls, city halls, it's in the mayor's office, it's in Froed, St. Anne's Hospital, Truesdale Clinic. So it reaches far more than the 4,000 copies people are flipping through while they're waiting for the doctor's appointment. What do you read in the business news? All about what's happening in the community right now with business. You know, a lot of some educational pieces are in there, just what's happening in current events with business. Obviously, exactly. We, we let people know what is happening at the businesses because, mm -hmm. you know, a great story that we published, I, I recall, in the, one of our recent publications was uh, about the state's largest uh, solar rooftop. Mm -hmm. People may not know this, but it's in Fall River. Uh, yeah, it's one of our members. Yes, it's one of our members. It's Rhode Island Novelty. Mm -hmm. The roof, the entire rooftop of, of the Rhode Island Novelty building, which used to be the A.J. Wright building in the Industrial Park, actually technically the Commerce Park, uh, it's, it makes up, it comprises the state's largest roofed solar system mm -hmm. which complements the largest solar canopy which mm -hmm. is also in Fall River mm -hmm. at Bristol Community College mm -hmm. which complements the state's largest windmill which is the Phillips Light O'Lear windmill mm -hmm. which is also in Fall River. <laughs> now, I, I, I bring this to people's attention because Fall River is a leader mm -hmm. in alternative energy systems but I think a lot of people don't know that. No, they don't. That's part of what we do too. We let people know we about educate. our assets. <laughs> we do. And actually something that's coming out uh, roughly, I think the same time that this television show is gonna be aired is a promotional video mm -hmm. of Fall River and its assets mm -hmm. uh, that's gonna be playing on multiple uh, venues that basically it demonstrates all of our available uh, assets. It talks about our business assets, our medical assets, our infrastructure assets, our cultural assets. And it's about a six minute uh, promo uh, production that basically puts the whole package together. Mm -hmm. It's a great, a really great video. How does a business spotlight itself in our newspaper? Um, as long as you're a member, you just you know, get with me. So as long as we have space available that month, there is a little bit of a waiting list sometimes because people really do take advantage of this program email me you know a couple of paragraphs about your business maybe a picture your contact information if you don't have anything already done between myself and crystal we're happy to write something up for you get it all worked out and it's a spotlight that goes in our newspaper at no cost so it's a really great way to get in front of a lot of people liz i forgot to ask you before when we were talking about the chamber app you know we said it's going to be available in the middle of april mm -hmm. how much does it cost not a thing it's free it's free it's a free app yep and, you'll and get you don't it have to where? be a member to right. download the app. Anybody can use it. So if you are a member and you're promoting your discounts on there or you're a member and you're in our directory, you know, it's a really great way to get in front of lots a, of people. Because a really great uh, feature to this thing is that it's got the membership directory that's going to be on the app as well. Yes. So you'll be able to find local businesses mm -hmm. just by using this app. I mean, another shop local tool. Yeah. So it's free. and. Where will you be able to get it? Um, Apple and Android devices will all be able to Beautiful. have access to it. And that's thanks to uh, the Gold sponsorship by Gold Metal Bakery. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. They were very kind in doing this. They see how important it is. Now, we have another publication that we produce, too, uh, with the Herald News, and that's the Business Connection. Mm -hmm. So that's every month. It is. So that, that little piece there is Chamber mm -hmm. of Commerce talking to people, too. Mm -hmm. So businesses have problems. One of the problems that I... Uh, see that many businesses have, particularly uh, the larger companies that are manufacturers that are exporting, mm -hmm. is that they need to get certified. They do. How do we solve that problem? We provide a free certificate of origin to member businesses. And what that is, it's a document used for international trade by exporters. 
they need it to be stamped and certified and we do that right at the chamber. We also do free notary services for members as well. Yeah, and those get used, uh, that service gets used almost daily mm -hmm. uh, as well. So I got a dumb question. There are businesses that export in Fall River. There are quite a few businesses that export in Fall River. We Fall, had one Fall, come Fall in. River has companies that make money. <laughs> I'm being I'm being sarcastic. Yeah, no, we have one come in uh, yet just just yesterday for a certificate of origin. Yes, uh, it happens almost every. It, mm -hmm. it happens sometimes so like multiple five times, times a, day. a day. Yeah. Yes, sure. and that's what I wanted to get across here too because we have manufacturers, Matuk and Aquabotics and uh, Vance and Leathers and Phillips uh, Lightelier. Phillips Lightelier. I, there's, there's roughly about 20 of them that come in on a regular basis mm -hmm. to get certificate of origins because they are shipping their wares overseas. Mm -hmm. And when I say overseas, they're shipping it to the Middle East, they're shipping it to Europe, they're shipping it to China. We have people who are selling to China mm -hmm. here in Fall River. Yep. A, lot of, a lot of activity in Canada uh, as well. Fall River to Canada uh, is going on. So that happens mm -hmm. at the chamber building. Every day. Every day. It's just interesting. I think it's good for people to oh, know is. that this is happening, that businesses mm -hmm. are doing this. A lot of niche manufacturers are located in the Fall River area. Mm -hmm. So, our lobby. How do we leverage our lobby area in the Chamber of Commerce to assist businesses? Our lobby is the only visitor center in Bristol County. Um, so we have- Why is that? Where, where were there, we, we only have a couple of minutes here, but what's the story behind that? There was a visitor center on it 195. Was there was a visitor center on 95. They're closed. not around anymore, nope, right? Those have all closed, so- Because of the um, recession, yes. Bank Five sponsored our visitor center diamond students came in and built a whole new rack and wall and it's absolutely gorgeous and yes. we it's have a great first impression it really is a great first impression and we have brochures if you're a member and you have brochures drop it off we're happy to display them for you at no charge in our visitor center that's right and the other thing that we do is we partner with the southeastern uh, massachusetts visitors and convention bureau and we're able to push that information through them as well, mm -hmm. so we amplify it because we we're on the executive committee for that organization mm -hmm. and helping to promote the region, not just the Fall River area. Correct, the so, whole South Coast. Yes, and we do trade shows mm -hmm. as a result of that too. Mm -hmm. the chamber does a lot. We do, a lot more than I ever would have imagined. <laughs> yes, so I want to again uh, ask you, for those who are listening, those who are watching, if they're not a member, why should they be a member? Because it is probably one of the best ways to network, to meet people, to get your name out there, to grow your business. I mean, if I were a business owner, it would absolutely be a no-brainer. I would join the chamber in a second. And I'm not just saying that. I didn't know much about the chamber until I started this job, and now that I do, it's amazing all that we do. Before I was CEO of the Chamber of Commerce, my law office was a member of the Chamber of Commerce mm -hmm. because I saw the benefit mm -hmm. for my business and it did, it amplified my uh, activity in my business fourfold mm -hmm. because I was able to get runoff work immediately by mm -hmm. connecting with other chamber member mm -hmm. uh, law offices for my company. The exposure is incredible. We're out of time. Okay. Thank you so much for being well, a thank guest. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching and please shop locally whenever you get the opportunity to do so because it really does make a difference.